Let's talk a little bit about the amazing DIYs that were in your segment, inspired by houseboats. We saw this beautiful life preserver uh, project. Yep, we went to Michael's and we found some amazing component parts. These are actually styrofoam rings. They're used in the floristry, floristry if yes. I can say it, the floristry, floristry. business. Yes. And they're really fab and they've got that kind of lovely nautical feel. So we've banded off some sections with masking tape. We've painted in blue and in red. Mm -hmm. And then we've taken some rope. Now, if your detail cutting in isn't so good then don't panic because your rope is going to cover that glue right. the rope in place and then as a final flourish again from um, the same store these yeah. simple alphabet letters and we've done a little ss tracy look oh, at I that super sexy oh, tracy exactly. or steamship Let's talk about the incredible lamps. So you've done them four different ways. Yeah, we have. You know, so we picked this up in IKEA, and we're thinking, okay, you know what? One lamp, so many possibilities. Yes. So first things first, so we nipped off to HomeSense, and we got a little candle lantern nice. here for twenty bucks. We took the candle out like so, and then you simply just pass the lamp through that. So if you look at the one on the end of the table, you know, suddenly you've got this little custom coastal lamp. Yes. You know, that has been no effort at all. You haven't had to do any wiring. You just pop it through, pop the shade on, job done. And then when you're finished with that look, you can take it off, put the candle back in there, yeah. and just resume exactly. normal service as and ever. Right. Lamp number two, Tracy, these are just really simple decorators <laughs> bowls. They're made of kind of natural leafy ingredients from the garden. I guess that somebody mm. somewhere far off has put together into this gorgeous sphere. They're hollow, which means that you can puncture them at either side. Thread them onto the stalk of one of your lamps. Now, a quick tip, when you're doing anything with electricity, seriously, guys, you've always got to make sure that you either know what you're doing or you you're doing it in association with a qualified uh, electrician. So pop all of these on like that, times four, and they're easy to cut, easy to puncture. Pop the base back on like that, pop your, pop the base back on like that, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Australia again from an upside down. <laughs> Pop your shade back on and hey presto, you're done. How simple is that? A great yeah. new way to customise cool. a simple shop basic. Yeah. Number three. Really easy. And if you look at that little kind of nature inspired one there, uh, I call that our Marvin Gaye lamp because we heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> as you do. That's good, Colin. That's good, isn't it? So that's just a piece of grapevine, which is that wonderful dried kind of like twiggy thing you yes. get from the florist. Mm -hmm. And again, we've just wrapped it around the base of our lamp. You know, and that's a great kind of like key trend at the moment that whole city meets the country yes. so if you've got something that's metal and steel and you wrap a kind of like natural nature element you're going to be totally on trend Absolutely. and again really simple to do just makes it stand out and suddenly you think I want a new look just lose a grapevine there you go and uh, yeah make it you can make a new look very easily like the last one which is like a coral uh, I love this one do you know what and it's completely great for the environment it's not yeah. coming from the sea it's not having to give you any concerns it's simply made from air drying modeling clay from the same store. Now we've taken a hunk of it and we've formed a really naive shape. Now we thought we could give you guys the challenge of doing this. We just can do form. it. Yeah, can you do it? Yeah. I don't form know. A hunk of it down there. Have you not got any? Tracy, there you are, my love. Thank oh. you. Never leave you out. So form Thank a hunk you. like that. Now obviously in the real application you would put your lamp stock through it as we've done. Right. That's a bit complicated to show you here. So okay. pop your lamp shop, your lamp through there. Lamp chop? <laughs> lamp chop. Lamp chop. Try saying that with your teeth in. Anyway, pop your lamp chops around that. <laughs> and then just mould it and squish it. Now the thing about coral is it's really irregular. It's not in any way symmetrical. That's true. So just work it petal wise after petal. Pop the petals on like that, and then twist them as if they're being turned in the sea. And to give you that texture, the little fork is your best friend. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. So imagine you're at the barbecue, okay? And there's a really big sausage <laughs> sitting there. Just give it a little. <laughs> look at that. Now, Tamara, I don't know what you're creating here. Can I just show this? Tamara, is that oh, some type of bull? Oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a home. And guys, little pieces. So we Tracy, can use these. Tracy's making a drinking vessel at the end of the table. <laughs> come on. Hey, come on. Is that well, it? I'm getting there. I need, I need a little bit of time. Get that looks like a soppy oh. cup. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You just build it up layer by layer. And if you're right. not happy with the results, you spray your clay with water and yeah. then you clump it back together and then you go on again. Now, all of these particular bits are so easy to find. The clay itself came from Desserts. Nice. Um, and it's really, really malleable. Yeah. It's easy to work with and it's a simple product. Colin and I were up into the wee small hours fiddling. <laughs> now, you said no coral, no coral looks the same. So this is, you know, it can totally be a coral. Well, it could.
in what, fairness, Chris, I don't know what you've made I'm down like, there. What are you doing? Punishing it? <laughs> naughty, <laughs> naughty. You told me. <laughs> I'm going to award points sausage. here. Shy what? and Tamara are on an equal <laughs> nine and a half out of ten. Oh, no. Tracy, I'm afraid as much as I adore you, I've got to be. I'm going to be generous and, and say three. <laughs> Look at mine's better than Shy. Yours, yours is way shy. better than Shy. Oh, no, true. Let's Come see. It's almost alien-like. Yours is right? yeah, certainly otherworldly. Yes. Wow. Isn't it? It what do we reckon, like audience? Do we think? Is it Tracy? Yeah. R yeah. Noise for Tracy. What do you reckon? Tamara. Tamara. Yeah. <laughs> the point is, make it your own. This exactly. looks like the sort of thing my six-year-old would bring home from class, but that is okay. But how easy is all of this, Make Tracy? it your own and have some fun with exactly. it, because then exactly. your space has personality. It does. You can say, it I does. made it. You can personalize whatever you need to I wouldn't admit to, to making that, Tracy, Hey! No. <laughs> <laughs>